All right, here is the Dollar General. Uh, this is kind of like a little mall, essentially, for Arlington. It was awesome when it arrived several years ago uh, to have this store in town. They do have all kinds of school supplies and household supplies, personal products. They also have some food items. So uh, there's a self-storage facility here. If you haven't figured out yet, I'm giving you a driving tour of the town of Arlington. So you can see what it looks like from a boots on the ground perspective. There's a lot of little side streets off of Route 7A, like Carbonti Circle. Um, and I'm obviously not gonna take you through all those different neighborhoods, but I wanted to point out some highlights. So coming up on your right is uh, Snow's or Arlington Dairy Bar. They are now open and there's the Bank of Bennington. On the left is the Arlington Animal Hospital. So as we come up the hill on the left, Burnham Jewelers makes custom jewelry, can do some repairs. There's the Cutleaf Maples that is a short-term hotel, kind of a landmark in town. And then just down the hill here on the left-hand side where the flag is flying, that is the U.S. Oh, I'm sorry, take it back. Not where the flag is. <laughs> That's the uh, insurance company. Uh, there is the U.S. Post Office for the town of Arlington. Nice big facility. And then up here on the left, they've recently undergone a name change. It used to be here, and now it's the Arlington Deli and Liquor. So there's the, the Deli and Liquor store. And then here on the right-hand side is Stewart's world's best ice cream and they also of course have gas there there's a Berkshire Bank this beautiful white building is the town office next to that um, the Arlington Community House that pretty brick building the Arlington Inn they have a restaurant there as well as of course the inn to stay at there's a bunch of bed and breakfasts here on the left is another gas station um, I believe they also do off-road diesel too, and um, they're known as ChemClean. We've used them for um, furniture stripping. Kind of a nice little specialty place right there. On the left, this is the Arlington Rec Park, Recreation Park. So there are ball fields. There's a nine-hole golf course. You pay by the honor system. There's a pavilion and a pond. There's a carnival here every summer. They also have updated their tennis courts and basketball courts. So that is free to the public. On the right, uh, here is a small branch for Hanson Walbridge uh, the Funeral Home. And then coming up, we are about to see the Sugar Shack, which is where I'm going to turn around before that, there's camping on the Batten Kill, because we're crossing over the bridge right now that goes over the Batten Kill River. Famous for fly fishing. It's also a fun place to go tubing or kayaking. So here's where the Sugar Shack is. This is my turnaround spot. So the Sugar Shack not only sells all of your amazing maple cider donuts and of course your maple products and they also have a little Norman Rockwell Museum. Around the corner is actually where the new Ramuntos is going to be going. That is a pizza franchise. They are currently hiring and they are going to be even offering delivery. So that is super exciting. I don't think you can see it from here but it's tucked in behind the Sugar Shack. All right, we're just waiting for some traffic to pass by. While I'm waiting for that, I do want to point out the beautiful mountain views that you get all around here in Arlington. If I continued up this way a little farther, uh, I would also run into the Roblegon uh, of Scotland. Uh, it's a specialty store. And also uh, Chauncey's Family Restaurant just recently sold. And I've been told that a new restaurant going in there is going to have a German theme. 
resurgence happening here in Arlington where the food world is concerned, which is very exciting because Arlington has honestly been a bit of a, a food drought uh, community for a long time without having a lot of places to eat here in town. Uh, other than uh, the Arlington Inn and the West Mountain Inn, which do cater to a higher end uh, budget, essentially. So now we're coming south on Route 7A. You're going to get a view of Ball Mountain here as we pass by the rec park again. There's another access point uh, for the rec park. You don't have to come in this main entrance here off 7A. You can also go down Route 313, which will be my right hand turn as I come up to it here in a little bit. And uh, that is the access that is a good place to start for the golf course if you go off of 313. If you go out Route 313 uh, west, you are heading towards New York. So you'll see there's a little sign that says New York is there in seven miles. And that leads right out to Cambridge. There's a little cemetery there for the St. James Episcopal Church. Beautiful church here in town. And then also here, another building with the flags flying. This is the Baton Kill Valley Health Center right there. So they not only have doctors, but also dentists uh, operating out of that building. All right, we're gonna turn left on East Arlington Road because we are heading to East Arlington so I can get you to the house that I am about to list. So here on the left are some buildings for Mac Molding. They are a major employer in town. Up ahead where the railroad track passes by, if I took a left onto Chittenden, down there you would see the rescue squad. And then a little further down is um, Miles. They are the hardware store. They also have a fuel company here in town. You are not committed to having to use uh, the only company in town. There's many other fuel companies who do deliver here to Arlington. So on the right, uh, you will see there is the Arlington Area Child Care. And just after that are both of the schools. So on the left is the senior uh, and junior high school, and on the right is the elementary school. There is the library, that is the Martha Canfield Memorial Free Library. Notice that there are sidewalks that lead both from Arlington as well as East Arlington here to the school and the library. There's some beautiful old homes here along East Arlington Road. That one's got a turret. See a lot of slate roofs. More mountains. So if I took a right onto Warmbrook Road, which I'm not going to do, that would also lead me out to 313 East, and that would connect me to Route 7, the highway, what we all call Super 7 or US Route 7. Pass over another little water body there. So now we are getting into East Arlington. This building right here was always known as the Chip and Hook. It has recently undergone a massive renovation and it is now Bonnie and Clyde's Corner Market. That is on the corner of East Arlington Road and Old Mill Road. They have great food selections in there, bakery, all kinds of goodies that you can purchase to eat and great little gifts. And then here is, that building is the uh, fire department. So they have a nice big facility here in East Arlington. This is the East Arlington post office. They actually have their own. And then next to that is the village chocolate shop and then Old Mill Road recording studio. World renowned artists are recording in there. Joshua Sherman has done a major investment into East Arlington. They've bought up a lot of properties to grow their studio. 
so this is Kansas Road, which intersects with Prouty Hill Road. I have no relation to the Prouties on Prouty Hill, if there are any. <laughs> and then as we come up and over this hill, there's going to be a road called South Road. And South Road would actually connect you also down to the highway. So there's a couple different points to get from East Arlington back over to the highway. So we're gonna take a left onto Schoolhouse Woods Road. Straight ahead, that is the highway. So there's the overpass. But we are gonna turn here and show you that this new listing is at the very end of the road. It has a lot of privacy. There's some construction going on on the road, which is always exciting homes getting built and finished. And this is the house straight ahead. It's got six acres of land, has its own pond, and it is right on the waterfront. So there is three cars, three car garage I should say. And then there is a new garden, raised beds. Oh, and listen to that water. That sounds amazing. Hopefully my video continues even as I unplug. Just wanna give you a little scoop of this piece of heaven back here. They do have an above ground swimming pool. And there is this large pond. They turn it into a skating rink in the winter time when everything is frozen over. And then out here, very own river access. So if you like to fish or cool off, just enjoy nature. This is a piece of heaven right here. So, uh, someone put down some rocks and it made a nice kind of uh, swimming hole over there. So you really can cool off now with that. And then this is the back of the house. So a lot more to come on this. 